Day five of the Delta Lloyd 470 World Championships and it looks like a promising day. There's a lot of wind out there but not too much. So we're going to race and it's going to be very exciting in the men's and the 470 women's class. Let's have a look. Day five of the Delta Lloyd 470 World Championships and three races were successfully held off The Hague in very windy conditions. Competitors made their way off the ramp early to get ready for a battle on a lumpy and challenging North Sea. In less than two days time the new 470 World Champion will be crowned. Today's three races in the Gold Fleet have started to define the likely podium places. In the morning the wind was 18 to 22 knots but gusting to over 25. Out on the water, the lightweight 470s were jumping off waves as their crews struggled to keep their boats upright. In the first race, it was 23-year-olds Luke Patient and Stuart Bithell who crossed the finish line in the lead. The British duo, who were runners-up at last year's Worlds, showed great form, completing the day with a 5 and a 4. The Scandia team GBR sailors are now second in the ranking, having passed their teammates, double world champions Nick Asher and Elliot Willis. Dutch heroes, the Costa brothers, have made a jump too. This experienced team also relished the strong conditions as today they scored an impressive 2-1-5, shooting them up the leaderboard from 11th this morning to 3rd overall tonight. The Costas have been around the 470 class for more than a decade, but the talented brothers have still yet to win a world championship. Will the hometown advantage make the difference this time over the next two days? At this crucial point in the regatta, the class act remains the Beijing gold medalist Malcolm Page from Australia, who now sails with new helm Matt Belcher. The Aussies have led since the start of the regatta, and a win in today's final race now sees them six points clear of second place Brits Patience and Bithell, who are a point clear of the Costas in third. But the real stars of today's racing were in the women's fleet, where reigning 470 world champions Lisa Westerhoff and Lobka Berkout scored a perfect 1-1-1 to take the lead overall. They made it look so easy. The team is unbeatable in these conditions and it was all grins on board their boat today. With the three wins, the local Dutch favourites passed New Zealanders Joe Aller and Olivia Powery who suffered disaster in today's first race when their main halyard snapped. Considering this trauma, they recovered well to post the second and a third place in today's final two races. Early leaders, Italians Giulia Conti and Giovanni Mikkel, have dropped a third overall but still remain within seven points of the leaders. There's more action tomorrow, Saturday, with three races planned. For that, the wind is expected to drop to 11 knots. We'll be back tomorrow when three races are scheduled. Lisa and Lopka, what a great job today. Yeah, thanks. It was an amazing day. Beautiful sailing conditions, nice waves, good breeze, and uh, it was awesome to sail in these conditions. Yesterday, no sailing. How do you feel about that? Yeah, there was a bit of a disappointment uh, because we thought certainly in the end of the day it was possible and sooner than that we got out. Uh, it was a pity that the wind dropped that fast and that we could only sail one race. So uh, we were a bit frustrated because it was such a nice breeze in the afternoon. And, uh, but we made it up today. What do you think about uh, the organization over here? Uh, yeah, there are uh, doing it okay, they do a good job, only uh, it, it's been really difficult with the uh, weather conditions because it's been so hot in Holland and now the weather is uh, upside down. So they uh, yeah, misjudged some uh, decisions, I think, but uh, yeah, it's hard, it's hard to do, to do it well for everyone. You like to sail your own country? No, I love it, yeah, I live here in Scheveningen and uh, it's great to have a world over at, uh, at our home water, yeah. Thank you very much. Have a good, uh, good event. Thanks. Thanks. Mr. Asher and Willis, how did it go today? Uh, we didn't have a great day. Uh, we got two sort of average results and one pretty poor one. We got the wrong side of a wind shift, but uh, we weren't going terribly fast today. We did, the boat didn't feel terribly good. Naughty boat. No, very bad, very naughty boat. It didn't feel very nice at all. It was uh, quite hard to sail. Uh, it was quite windy out there and quite wavy. and. Uh, we couldn't get the boat off of the wind very well. It wouldn't, it wouldn't go forwards. Normally these conditions are pretty good. Uh, why can't you get in a flow? Uh, I just our set up today uh, wasn't spot on. Um, in those conditions, the uh, the setup of the boat is is critical. So uh, 
it's kind of where all your speed comes from. Uh, but we tried our hardest to get overcome it with technique, but it, it was very hard. Um, yesterday we were, you were second overall, today you are fourth. Uh, do you still have the possibility to, to become world champions? Oh, for sure, there's three more races tomorrow and uh, the points are all fairly close at the top still and uh, every point counts now, so every race is a full counter. So? So, yes. <laughs> of course. <laughs> the last few events, there were two uh, English teams in the top five. How do you guys do it? Oh, uh, well, we all train together in a squad, uh, so it's great to have you know another good boat in the top ten in the world to train against. Um, and I don't know, we're just British. We're good. <laughs> British. Well, is there a lot of competition between the English teams? Yeah, friendly rivalry, we like to call it. We're, we get on really well with them. We train hard together and uh, the whole squad kind of moves forward as one. But when we're out there, it's just like any other boat. Well, uh, have a good event and uh, thank you very much. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you.